Hello and good morning. Welcome to BNN. My name is Maria DiMaggio. And I'm Samantha Mitchell. Our topic today is focusing on Fonbon's upcoming lab, the lab that took many months to build. Fonbon took their precious time to complete this project. We have all been looking forward to this new lab and now it's finally here. We will be going in depth and sharing all the details on the lab. We've interviewed some of the faculty and students to see what they have to say about the new renovations. Mr. H has been teaching at Fonbon for four years. He has seen the school change over the time he has been working here. We can all agree that this lab has been an amazing addition to our school. It has been designed to fit our needs as students here at Fonbon. What do you think about the new labs? I think they're great. They're beautiful. I really like the windows and how you can look through all the way from one side of the floor to the other. Do you think the new fab lab uh, or the other labs will benefit the students? Of course. I mean. Uh, those new tables seem like they're really good for collaboration with labs. Uh, the Fab Lab has all the equipment in the same room, which is nice. No more Fab Lab 1, Fab Lab 2. So that's pretty cool. We are here in the new labs on the second floor of Eda Ford. The construction of the labs took three months to complete, or as Ms. Maldary describes it as record time. $250,000 was donated by the Callahan Pirog Family Foundation in loving memory of Eileen Callahan Halpin, though there were many other private donors contributing to our lab as well. As Ms. I said in our interview, we may have two new electives coming to Bon Bon. We can't wait to see what our labs have to offer. What makes this lab different from the last labs we had? Well, the lab is much brighter and there's great space for students to work at the lab tables. It's a different configuration, so it lends itself to more collaboration, teamwork, and lots of new labs. Um, we're also having upgrades in the safety equipment too. So basic things like the electricals, the water, um, we have a fume hood that works really well now so the ventilation systems are better and that's important if you're going to, especially if you're doing a lot of chemistry labs. Okay. And will the lab hopefully introduce new electives? Yes, it's a secret right now, but we're actually working on um, three or four new electives and they just, the proposals are being written and they have to be accepted, but I'm really excited about some new things being offered probably for next fall, so you'll hear about it in the spring. Now, let's hear from our two students and their overview on how the new lab is going for them. Our president, Victoria Bruno, and our sophomore, Joan Anastasiadis. I'm actually really excited. Um, I really like how they built it and it's a lot more motivating for me to do my work. Um, I think it will help better my education. It's a lot more open and a lot more kids can fit in the room now and I think it will better my education. Um, I like the, um, how the modernized look because it helps me focus. The paint color really does help, it makes the space look bigger and it does help me work. Do you think it will bring more attention towards Fon Fon? Yes. It, everyone wants to go to a modernized school and a school that looks like fun to learn. So I think the Fab Lab is definitely the look for Fon Fon. I think that the new lab is a great thing for Fon Fon, not only for the students of this generation, but also for years to come. Uh, I'm very excited about using the new labs. The new labs are also my FA. So not only will my science class be better, but also my FA will be a lot better. I think all the new resources and technology we have is really going to motivate me to not only try harder in class, but also it's going to let me focus on my teachers more. So I'm in physics right now, so the new part of the lab looks really interesting to start. Thank you to everyone who spent some time speaking to our interviewers and answering questions about the new labs. And thank you to all of the alum that donated to the school which made these labs possible. We cannot wait to make great use out of these labs. We, we hope, hope you all have a lovely day, day and this is Samantha Mitchell and Maria DiMaggio signing, signing out. out.